Shalom. All praises, honor, and glorification unto our mighty, marvelous, and wonderful power. Call Halaim La Alahayanawa Yehawa Bahashim Yawashai Bahashim Rakakwadash. Double honors unto the elders and apostles of Great Millstone, whom rule well, and who are great examples to our younger brethren. Salutations as well as health and wellness unto the hopeful elect of Yehawa Bahashim Yawashai scattered across the earth. This is your brother Ayla coming to you with another lesson. And the title of this lesson will be Re. Gang banging two thirds won't keep that same energy in the time of Jacob's trouble. Right? And this lesson will be a land back off of the video that the elder Kurataza from the GMS Vegas camp had put up. And, you know, you see the title. So, you know, Lord willing, the elect of Yahweh by Shimei, I wish I'd be edified. And let's get right into it. And, um, you know, within the video that the elder put up, he played the clip, as you see, of, um, you know, of WFI at camp in Los Angeles. And, uh, you know, a situation occurred. So, you know, you know, you can go ahead and watch that. And then, um. You know, and I advise you watch the video that the elder put up as well. Right. But um, let's get right into it, man. Right. Because that's absolutely, you know, you you thug niggas, you you game banger niggas, you, you D boys, all you niggas are going to be put down and all the pride and the. Uh, you know, all that pride and the, the puffed up energy all that's going to be done away with when it comes down to it you know when the lord puts that fire upon your ass you know right so um i want to start off and get the book of isaiah the 13th chapter starting at verse 6 right so this is isaiah chapter 13 and verse 6 and it reads how ye for the day of the lord is at hand it shall come as a destruction from the Almighty. Therefore shall all hands be faint and every man's heart shall melt. Right? Which the heart is talking about the mind. Right? You know? So pretty much all you thug niggas, you, you wicked two-third niggas, you're going to be bitches in that day. You know? The bitch that you are is going to be made known. Right? Because that's what you are, you know? So, uh, continuing on verse verse 8. And the reason they shall be afraid, pains and sorrow shall take hold of them. They shall be in pain as a woman that travaileth. They shall be amazed one at another. Their faces shall be as flames. Behold, the day of the Lord cometh, cruel both with wrath and fierce anger, to lay the land desolate, and he shall destroy the sinners thereof out of it. You see? And the scriptures tell you that judgment, you know, is going to start at the house of the Most High, which ultimately is the, the you know, the Israelites that are in the know, you know. You see? But, um, uh, let's see, I'll jump down to verse 11. And it reads, and I will punish the world for their iniquity, for their evil, Salakia, and the wicked for their iniquity. And I will cause the arrogancy of the proud to cease and will lay low the haughtiness of the terrible. You see? Right? So continuing on, let me get this as well. Ezekiel, the 21st chapter. And I'll start at verse 8. And it reads, Again, the word of the Lord came unto me, saying, Son of man, prophesy and say, Thus saith the Lord, say, Sword, a sword is sharpened and also furbished. It is sharpened to make a sore slaughter. It is furbished that it may glitter. Should we then make mirth? It can, tim it can timeth the rod of my son as every tree. And he hath given it to be furbished that it may be handled. This sword is sharpened and it is furbished to give it into the hand of the slayer. You see? And the slayer, you know, is talking about Esau. You know, because Esau is going to be a tool used to put down many of our people. 
you know? Just like you D-boys, you thug niggas, you know? A lot of you niggas, you're going to be sent off into World War Three, And we'll see how hardcore you are then. When you got bullets flying at you every fucking second. Right? You niggas are straight pussies. You're not hard. And the Lord is going to make that known once again. You know? You're emotional. You make irrational decisions. You're wild beasts. You know? And that's going to lead to you being put the fuck down. You see? And we can't wait, man. And, you know, once again, man, go ahead and watch the clip. You know? So let's see. Uh, let me get Jeremiah 30 and 4. And it reads, uh, Salaki, not the, is it the fourth verse? Oh, yeah, verse four is where I'll start. And it reads, and these are the words that the Lord spake concerning Israel and concerning Judah. For thus saith the Lord, we have heard a voice of trembling, of fear, and not of peace. Ask ye now and see whether a man doth travail with child. Wherefore do I see every man with his hands on his loins, as a woman in travail, and all faces are turned into paleness. Alas, for that day is great, so that none is like it. It is even the time of Jacob's trouble, but he shall be saved out of it, and that he is talking about the elect. Right? Everybody outside of the elect is going to be put down and judged. You know? Right? Which the elect are the 144,000 and the rest of the elect, the men, women, and children. And those are the ones who the Lord is going to deliver. You know? So, uh, let me get this as well. Amos, the ninth chapter and the 10th verse. Right? Amos chapter 9 and verse 10. And it reads, All the sinners of my people shall die by the sword, which say the evil shall not overtake nor prevent us. So once again, man, the Lord is going to put you niggas down. You know? Matter of fact, I got another one. Um, Ezekiel 18 and 30. And it reads, Therefore I will judge you, O house of Israel, everyone according to his ways, saith the Lord power. Repent and turn yourselves from all your transgressions, so iniquity shall not be your ruin. Cast away from you all your transgressions, whereby ye have transgressed. And make you a new heart and a new spirit. For why will ye die, O house of Israel? For I have no pleasure in the death of him that dieth, saith the Lord. Wherefore, turn yourselves and live ye. See? Right? So that's pretty much the point of this lesson, man. Just a quick hit and straight to the point. So with that, Lord willing, you were edified. Once again and forever, all praises, honor, and glorification unto our mighty, marvelous, and wonderful power. Matter of fact, I got another scripture, Salakia. You know, and I'm on the clock, but, you know. Let's see, uh, Psalms 91, and I'll, I'll start at the first verse. And it reads, He that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of the Lord, He is my refuge and my fortress. My power in Him will I trust. Surely he shall deliver thee from the snare of the fowler and from the noise and pestilence. He shall cover thee with his feathers, and under his wings shall thou trust. His truth shall be thy shield and buckler. Thou shalt not be afraid for the terror by night, nor for the arrow that flyeth by day. And see, you know, this is dealing with the elect, right? The elect are, the, the elect are those who dwell um, in the secret place of the Most High and abide under the shadow, being the protection of the Almighty. You know? So once again, man, everybody outside of that is going to be put down. Right? Verse 6, Nor for the pestilence that walketh in darkness, nor for the destruction that wasteth at noonday. A thousand shall fall at thy side, and ten thousand at thy right hand, but it shall not come nigh thee. And a lot of those that fall is going to be Jake. Only with thine eyes shall thou behold and see the reward of the wicked. Because thou hast made the Lord, which is my refuge, even the most high thy habitation, there shall no evil befall thee, neither shall any plague come nigh thy dwelling. For he shall give his angels charge uh, over thee 
to keep thee in all thy ways. They shall bear thee up in their hands, lest thou dash thy foot against a stone. Thou shalt tread upon the lion and adder, the young lion and the dragon, shall thou trample under feet. Because he hath set his love upon me, therefore will I deliver him. I will set him on high, because he hath known my name. He shall call upon me, and I will answer him. I will be with him in trouble, I will deliver him and honor him. With long life will I satisfy him, and shew him my salvation. Right? So... You know, that's pretty much the point with that, Lord willing, you were edified once again and forever. All praises, honor, and glorification unto our power. Call Halaim La Alahayan Awa Yehawa by Shimi Awashai by Shimmer Kakwadash. Salutations as well as health and wellness unto the hopeful elect of Yehawa by Shimi Awashai scattered across the earth. See you in the next lesson, Lord willing. Wa Yehawa by Shimi Awashai Baba Kasha Ababa Ba. Wa Shalawam DT soon as they sharp. And you sense your Akim, well, Akwa, keep pushing. Shalom, Wabarakatam, Lawalam, Yum.